This is a review of the Bessie K-Body Revo clamp. In this case, I'm using the 31-inch clamp to repair a child's easel. It's the second time I've done this repair, and no one likes to show off a repair that didn't work the first time. But in this case, it's a pretty useful illustration. The Bessie clamp I have, as you can see, attached across the bottom bar here, holding the piece that I'm gluing in place. I'm using uh, construction adhesive. Uh, this is very weak wood. It's a balsa wood and uh, almost immediately the screws that were supposed to keep this attached came loose. So I took some construction adhesive and tried to attach the sides together. However, uh, because I didn't have the Bessie clamp at the time, I tried laying it on a side putting some weight on top, but it really wasn't the equivalent. So you can see, the Bessie gets a really nice solid grip along both sides because of the large bumpers that it has. I can apply just enough pressure using the turn handle here as well. So as I turn the handle, I can get slightly more pressure, obviously squeeze out more glue or slightly less pressure. I wanted just enough pressure here so that the sides would hold together, but I didn't want to squeeze out all of the glue. Because I think that's part of what happened last time because I just put heavy weights on top. And uh, the glue came apart really quickly, as, as you can see on the other side. It just basically detached and I really didn't get a very good coverage across the whole gap. Anyway, this is a great tool. It's, it's a trivial application for what's a, a very powerful clamp. And you can see I have my other clamp down here, and uh, some of the features are a little less obvious, and I really didn't understand them when I bought it. Um, having this extra pad on the end means that even if one of your pads on the inside wears out, you will be able to replace it. But you can also use these outer clamps as well. You can turn the main body around by removing the end piece here and it just pops right off. And you can turn this around and use it to push outward instead of uh, clamping so you can actually break things apart. Uh, I saw some examples of online of people doing things with, with shelves and uh, with drawers. I don't have any good examples for that right now because it's not something I typically do. But it's a pretty nice uh, ability, not another nice use case for this tool. In addition, the ability to, to lay this, these different pieces here, these holders flat on a surface, and uh, create sort of a table clamp as well. You can even use these holes in them to clamp them down to a table. Uh, you know, it's just really powerful. It's, again, it, it's not something you typically have to do, but when you find yourself doing some awkward woodworking where you'd really like to, well, you know, I'd like to have a big clamp, but I don't have a big enough workspace to have a dedicated woodworking table with clamps built in, it's a really nice piece. You, know, you can actually get by and, you know, without some of the bigger equipment, do some of the real woodworking techniques that are out there. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show off this one example just so you get an idea for, for the reach and uh, simple ability of, of the Bessie. Uh, again, yeah, obviously this isn't the this isn't a world-breaking example, but it's important to me. And it's uh, you know the first thing I've decided to use the, the Bessie clamp for, so I hope it was useful for you. And uh, I would highly recommend these. I think they're very powerful and great clamps. Good luck.